Jesus as a God? Correct? So that's so, so therefore Jesus is actually refuting you. He's actually he's actually refuting you that the father is God. Okay, good. No problem. Yeah, but your father is God, according to the Bible. Jesus is saying that. How come my father? Because Jesus said my father and your father. The difference between me and uh, Isaiah. Je Jesus just But Jesus did not distinguish. He says my father is your father. Because he's not father. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Jesus says my father and your father. My God and your God. Right? So Jesus is saying that look, my father is your father. Meaning that your father is God, just like Jesus' father is God. <coughs> according to the Bible. According to Jesus. Okay? So therefore that sort of refutes your belief. Right? If I say uh, yeah. Abraham is my father. I say all the time. No, no, no. I'm true. Father, what do you mean my father? Biological father? What, what I mean now? Yeah, okay, okay. Who, okay, I say that Abraham okay. is my father. Yeah. Abraham is our father. What I mean. Yeah, what do you mean by that? That's what I'm asking you. Abraham is my, our father. What do you if mean by faith? Yeah. By faith. Huh? By faith. By faith. By faith. Yeah. yeah. Abraham, our father of Muslim Jew, this thing. But it doesn't mean that my boy is my father. So that's what Jesus is saying. But Jesus, <laughs> Jesus is saying exactly the same thing. Says, I was before Abraham. I was oh, so, so now you're quoting from John chapter 8, verse 58. Look, you're jumping on. Do you, do you agree with me that according to Jesus, the father, the father that he's talking about is the same father as yours? Yeah. And he doesn't mean it biologically. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Because Jesus did not have a biological father. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay. But he's saying, my God, yeah, my God is the father, which your father is also God. So it's nothing unique. That's what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying, my father is your father. So there's no distinguishment. There's no, there's no differences. Before you put in these things, did you believe that Jesus existed before the world? So you're talking about the pre-existence. Look, we can move on. But do you agree with me, first of all, that the term father is not a unique term? That is only for Jesus. No, it's not unique. Yeah. Fantastic. But so that means. Wait, hang on, hang on. Your, your, your father. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Your father is the same father that Jesus is talking about. His father is your father. Yeah. yeah. So do you have a do you have a biological father? Yeah. Does Jesus have a biological father? But he's saying he's the same father. Oh. <laughs> No, Jesus having one father. I feel, do you, do, no, with all due respect, look, with all due respect, right? I can see that, look, there's no problem at all. I'm not, I'm not expecting you to change your mind or anything. I just want you to think, yeah, reflect, ponder, right? I'm not here to force you. Well, I'm just here just to present the message. And I think it's very clear, according to the words of Jesus, that his father is your father as well. Of yeah. Your right. So, so, so he's, father. right. So therefore, Jesus not having biological father is not is is the same father as your father. So are you saying your your biological father is God? Is that what you're saying? Going to Jesus. Exactly. Now the Quran gives you refutes you. How? The Quran gives you in chapter three, verse fifty-nine. It says, "Inna mathala Isa inna Allahi kama thali Adam, halakuhu min turab, tu maqalahu kum faikun." Indeed, the likeness of, the likeness of Jesus in the sight of Allah is that light of is like that of Adam. He created from dust, and he says, "Being it is." So, Almighty God, based upon His wisdom, based upon His uh, His power, He can diversify His creation in different ways. He created Adam with no biological father and mother. He created Eve from the ribs of Adam. He created Jesus with our biological father, and He created me and you from a biological mother and father. Does that make Adam God? Does that make Eve God? Does that make Jesus God? No. That shows that Je that shows that Almighty God. That shows the power of God. Wait, wait. That shows you the power of God. That shows you the power of God. Yes, it shows the power. What's the difference between Adam and Jesus? The difference between yeah. Adam is created from soil. Yes, I agree. He creates the soil, huh? Yeah. And he puts yeah. The spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. He do the same for Jesus. No, 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 no. You misunderstood the point. Here is not that this verse of the Quran is not saying that Jesus' creation is the same as Adam's creation. No. What's demonstrating that Jesus' creation is unique, just that Adam's creation is unique. That's what that's what the Quran is depicting, right? Can you tell me anyone who has no biological mother and father apart from Adam? Is there anyone? Human beings. Exactly. So what what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is eluding is that Adam is unique. But in his, Adam wait, is Adam, from Adam, Adam, wait, hang on. I, is from above. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. But Adam, in terms of his creation, is unique. Would you agree with that? Yeah, Jesus' creation is unique. 
Eve's creation is unique, right? That's what the Quran is depicting. But why would you then say that the that Adam is not God, but you say Jesus is God? That doesn't make sense. Adam is not God because he why is he not God? Why is he not God? I think that's more miraculous. I think that's more miraculous from a soil become a human. I think that's more miraculous than without having a biological father. Why not? <laughs> because when he created Adam, he's from here, from the dark. Yeah, that's yeah. more miraculous. That's it's, more it's miraculous. It's miraculous, but he can save us <laughs> from because dust. he saw it. He's no, no, it, no, 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 no. It's not about salvation. Ah. I'm just talking about the crea when the crea speak, I'm, when talking, when I'm talking about the creation. Jesus, yeah. What we're going to focus is about salvation. What did Jesus say in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17? How do you say it? What's the salvation according to Jesus? What did he say? To accept the word of God. No. Do you want to open up Matthew chapter 5 verse 7? No, I didn't bring my first Okay, I'll, I'll open up for you. Because Jesus tells you exactly the way how you attain salvation. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Anyway, salvation is by sacrificing blood. Not according to Jesus. I'm not interested in your belief. I'm interested in the evidence. No, it's my yeah. belief. is your belief. It's all the salvation. No, 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 no. no. Do you remember our first principle which we agreed? We put our belief to one side. We have to give evidence, then we believe. You agree? Okay. Fantastic. So let's go by have uh, repent from their sin. They bring animal sacrifice, isn't it? Yeah, but not, hum but not human sacrifice. Not human sacrifice. And you believe Jesus is also human? As Peter says in, in Acts chapter 2 verse 22, that hero Israel, listen to this, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved by God. Listen, a man approved by God, by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him, and you're a witness to it. So Jesus, yeah, Jesus of Nazareth, a man. Did, did Peter say he's God? A man, yeah. of grace and truth. No, no, don't, don't, don't add your words. No, 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 don't, don't add your own words to it. I'm, look, I've read the Bible. Look, look, I've, look, I've read the Bible. I don't think you've read the Bible with all respect. I've read the Bible, right? I went through the Christian school system. Them, you know secondary school I've read the whole Bible right and alhamdulillah you know I found Islam to be true yeah because I looked in all religions right what yes so not God not God a man approved by God no no not full of I've memorized <laughs> I've memorized I've memorized but right, let's go to Matthew 5 17 first right let's listen to this right part of the grace but he is full of grace right and truth so let's see how, according to Jesus, how do you attain salvation? How do you enter the kingdom of heaven? Okay. That's very important, right? Okay. Yeah, but what do you mean by son of God? Do you mean he's a righteous servant of God and not biological? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's go to five. I know so many people love my coming. Seventeen. Okay. This is what Jesus says. He says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Yeah. And I agree with that. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands, I want you to listen to this part. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teach these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven for I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven so what do you understand from this how do you attain salvation according to Jesus your righteousness is no more than the Pharisees means that the Pharisees re re reject him what are the Pharisees known for they reject him what are the Pharisees known for the Pharisees are known about the law yes they, yeah. they were fulfilling the law. the law right well, what was they, it they enforced yeah. the law to the people no no not in yeah but yeah. God's laws yeah, God's yeah? Laws. okay fine fine so the Pharisees they were known to strictly follow the laws yeah, but right but what did they lack but what did they lack Hypocrite. Well, they're hypocrites. Hypocrites. Hypocrite. Because Good. why would they hypocrites? They enforce the law to the people, what? but for themselves yeah. now. But, uh, for what? example, yeah. when they stoned the, the Mary yes. Magdalene, remember the story? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about stoning Mary Magdalene. I don't remember that. They, tr they tried to stone with the uh, stone. Okay. And Jesus Christ, they told them, throw anyone who not having any sin. All of them, they're gone. Yeah. Because they are hypocrites. They tell the people yeah. different, but they I agree with you, I agree with you, I agree with you, so they were hypocrites. for this yeah. one, Jesus Christ said that, unless your righteousness yes. is what? Yes. bigger than that of... So he might, he might, he, yes, exactly, so Jesus is saying, look, 
First of all, the Pharisees, what were they known for? The Jews, they were known for, like, they, 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 they followed the letter of the law, but not by the spirit of the law. Do you agree with that? So what do I mean by that? They say, but they're not practicing it. No, no, they practice, but no faith. In, ter in, in, in the fact that their heart was dead. Yeah, right, their heart was dead. Wait, people, listen, listen. The their heart was dead, yeah. but they were just following the law. So Jesus saying, no, you have to be better than the Pharisees, yeah. which on the top of you following the commandments, you also have to be better than the Pharisees in terms of the spirit of the law. So Jesus is saying that, look, if you, if you, how do you be better than the Pharisees in front of Jesus? How can you be a Catholic more than the Pope? That's what I'm asking you. How can be better than the Pharisees by belief? Wait, 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 I want you to listen. According to Jesus, how do you be better? How do you exceed the, the righteous of the scribes and Pharisees? By faith. By faith. Huh? By faith. No, he didn't say that. Not just by faith. I, I can't be more than them. No, no. I can't no, be no, more no. Than Jesus Pope says, no, 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 no. But Listen, forget about Catholics. Forget about Catholics. I'm just saying, just unless your righteousness, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness. Yeah. So Jesus is acknowledging yeah. that the Pharisees are following the law. Yeah. So there is some sort of righteousness in that sense. But, but why were the hypocrites? Why were the hypocrites? Because they, 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 because they were not following the spirit of the law. Yeah. They were just following the letter of the law. So Jesus is saying that not only you follow the letter of the law, yeah. you follow the spirit of the law as well. So you have to follow the commandments the Torah this is what Jesus is saying yeah. that's how you enter the kingdom of heaven not that Jesus said you know you have to die for my sins this is all from the church this is paganism and I'm not even quoting this from the Quran this is from the Bible the first they think that as they are prophet I'm sorry just as they know their heart they are sinning yeah yes I agree the people you told them yeah but Jesus is saying you have to, people but Jesus is yeah, yeah. yes. better than these Pharisees the people they surprised how yeah. can we be more than them exactly because they, are, they think they are no. Exactly, I agree. So, so Jesus is saying, well, what he no, 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 no. Yeah, go on. You have to go beyond work is faith. You must have faith. No, and action. This is what Jesus is saying. Yeah. That, look, 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 let's read it again. Let's read it again. That, look, 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 look. He said, therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands. Do you remember what Jesus said, the greatest commandment? Here is Israel, the Lord, I got the Lord, this one, right? Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called in the least of the kingdom of heaven. Now, who's teaching? Uh, St. Paul is teaching that. You don't follow the, the law. Jesus is saying, Whoever commands that will be least in the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus is saying that, no, you have to follow the commands. And you have to be better than the Pharisees. Because, on, because the Pharisees, even though they're following the, the law, they're not following the spirit of the law. Jesus is saying, no, not only the letter of the law, you also have to follow the, the spirit of the law. You have to be better than the Pharisees. But Moses, before he told us, once he missed one of the laws, yeah? mm. one of the laws, yeah? he must be cursed. He must be cursed. Yeah, because he can't be righteous. Who said that? Moses. No, Unless he fulfilled the Ten Commandments, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He are cursed. So, uh, so therefore, if they are not least. Uh, uh, look, I think you're incriminating yourself. Because that's what St. Paul is telling you. St. Paul says, forget about the law. Just for, just believe that Jesus died for your sins. That's it. And that's it. Yeah, yeah so you're cursed to come to Moses. Because that's the, purpose, that's the purpose of Jesus, yeah? To take our burden out of our shoulders. I, th I don't think you're engaging with what Jesus is saying here. Jesus no. said, Jesus, look, listen, Jesus. He must have, yeah. He must do better than Pharisees. Yeah, why? Huh? How, 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 how? Because they are hypocrites. No, how? How do you be better than the Pharisees according to Jesus? By faith. No, he says by following the law yeah. and faith. That's what Jesus is saying. No one. I th look, I, look, look, right now, look, I don't expect all, you to... All people look, are sinning. No one your name, is sorry? going to the... Sorry, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? Sorry? All, all the... If, oh, all what's your name, sorry? Yeah? What's your name? Jabbar. 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 Yeah. Okay, my name's Rahan. Nice to meet you. Jabbar, look. Yeah. This conversation, I'm not, I'm not here to put you on the spot. Sincerely speaking, what I'm telling you, this is not my belief. This is not your belief. It's not about my belief and your belief right now. This is about the evidence, right? All of us, we are searching the truth. Right, exactly. Fantastic, the right? Light is, right. Who is the light? Right. The light of and Jesus Christ who comes from above. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So the Unless evidence. Unless we accept that yeah. by faith, the light, yeah? we are in the dark. No, not only faith, action as well. This is what Jesus is saying. You have to follow every commandment from the Torah. This is what Jesus is saying. First, you have to accept the faith. This of course, light. I agree with that. First, you, you have to you accept theory. Yeah. yeah. Go to practice laboratory. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. With that. Go to faith, come to practice. That's what the Pharisees are. That's why. That's why but you have to. First, they reject the faith. Wait, wait, listen, listen. They go to practice it without having the faith. Yeah, but the Pharisees, did they accept Jesus Christ? No, they didn't. So Jesus saying, be better. You believe in me? You, no, wait, wait. You believe in you, Wait, wait. You, listen, listen. You believe me as the Messiah and you also follow the law. That's how you be better than the Pharisees.
fantasy. You can't help more bars than. I don't think you are. You're not engaging. Jabbar, Jabbar, Jabbar. I think Jabbar. I think with all due respect. Jabbar, Jabbar, Jabbar. I think with all due respect. I don't think you have read the Bible. Oh. I don't think you have. I think I'm this is the Bible first time. Scholar, by no, I'm not Bible scholar either. But I've read the Bible. I don't think you. I don't. I don't think you've come across this passage before. Strong faith on my salvation. No, it's not about faith. I'm, I'm telling. I'm not telling. Look, look, look. My faith we do you, saved. Do you, by grace we get. Jabba, do you remember? Do you remember what we agreed right from the beginning? Yeah. What did we say? Uh, what did we agree? Uh, from the beginning that let's forget our belief. Yeah. Yes. Come to the truth. No, come to the evidence. Yeah. Yeah. Then we built our faith. Correct. Okay. Now, now I'm not, I'm not expecting you to, to, to change your mind. I'm not no, expecting no, no. you that, right? Of course, you know, it, it, it takes time, no, I right? I came to learn but from you. Fantastic. Yeah. And, you learn from, you and I learn from light, you, right? The light can show yeah. to me. I learn from you. Yeah. So what I will say to you is I this. To I, I'll end the discussion here, right? Because the thing is... I, I, all of us, we need seven. You have to remember. Every prophet was a savior. No. Okay, at the time... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. When Moses was... Wait, wait, wait. How do you... Wait, wait. How do you attain salvation at the time of Moses? In time of Moses? Yes. Oh, by sacrificial animals. Sacrificial, sacrificial animals. Yeah. yeah. So not so so not not Jesus dying for for our sins. No, before. Yeah, before. Before. Yeah. They was practicing animal sacrifice. Okay. No, no, no. That's that's for unintentional sins. No, no, that's for no, 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 no. No, animal sacrifice. No. He listen, he listen, the word, listen. He the Jabbar, sign. Jabbar, listen to this. Listen to me. Anim animal sacrifice was for unintentional sin. Okay. Right. Unintentional sin. Meaning you didn't intend. Yes. Yes, unintentional sin, right? So animal sacrifice was, wasn't the only way to gain salvation, right? You can use flour. Flour was a means of, you know, flour. Flour. For what? For salvation. No. For, for your sins to be forgiven. Yes. This, this is a quantity of Leviticus. Yeah, I don't think you've read the Bible. No, that, that one is peace offering. No, no, no. You have to differentiate between it's not just is not is not it's not just animal sacrifice. By blood. You have to read that no, one. no, it's not just animal sacrifice. If you, offering. <sighs> but if you peace offering, you're right. You have to differentiate no, no, no. peace offering not peace and offering. sin offering. Listen, listen, listen. It's not just animal sacrifice that your, your that your unintentional sin is forgiven. You can even offer flour. You know flour, bread flour. Yeah, yeah. You can even offer flour for your sins to be forgiven. Yeah. So so animal sacrifice is not sufficient. Okay. It's not it's not the only way, right? Between yeah. and peace I don't know, you tell me. I've heard this is the first time I'm hearing about peace offering. Okay, good, yeah. uh, peace offering is that if it's sin unintentionally. Unintentionally. You got committed to with someone, you bring either grains, first fruits, or animal sacrifice. But for sin offering, sin is not what, what we, know, what we did. Is it is inherited the most from the weakness of the flesh of Adam. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the evidence to, to refute this, right? Because what you're telling me is right now is belief. You can't back up with evidence. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 20. Have you read it? Yeah. Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Yeah, people, they're confused with sin no. offering and sin offering. No, no, no. Sin offering no, you, never no, you spoke about inherited sin and there's nowhere in the Bible. I'll, I'll explain to you. Let's open up Ezekiel. Most people, they get 10 coins. Ezekiel 18. They get happy. That one is peace. The reason, look, I want to make this very clear. Look, the reason why I'm caught. Sin offering. Jabal, 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 calm down. Look. The reason why I'm quoting from the Bible is not because I believe the Bible is the word of God. Uh, I believe, according to the Quran, according to the Quran, according to the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 48, the Quran is a muhaymin. It's like a quality control over the previous scriptures. So if there are certain things in the previous scriptures that agrees with the Quran, I have no problem. For example, Jesus saying the greatest command is this, Hero Israel, the Lord, I God, the Lord is one. We agree with that. But anything that contradicts with the Quran and the Sunnah, the Quran and teachings of the Prophet, this, this is where we reject it. Any, I don't know about the ten. I don't, I don't know. I, I, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, you, you, you need to wait, 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 wait. You need to listen. You need to listen. I'm saying the reason why I'm quoting from the Bible is not because I believe the Bible is the word of God, right? I'm, I'm making a disclaimer. The reason why is because the Quran is my trustworthy source. Yeah, that's my criteria, right? And we believe that we believe that you know previous revelation was sent. Why? With the Quran mentioned in chapter 13, verse 38, wali kulin ajin kitab. In every in every age, have we sent a revelation, right? So we believe that Jesus was given the gospel yeah but we do not believe it uh, and clearly the bible is not the gospel that was given to jesus because this was after the time of jesus right so therefore the quran is my quality control 
So I use the Quran as my barometer to look into your book. So anything that agrees with the Quran and the Sunnah, I've got no problem accepting. Anything that, that contradicts from the Quran and the Sunnah, from the Bible, I reject that. Anything in between, we don't affirm or contradict. So I want to make this very clear. The reason why I quote you from the Bible is because everything that you're saying is not backed by your own book. You said that, um, you said that the sins are inherited from Adam, correct? Yeah. Okay, so let's read Ezekiel chapter 18. Do you believe Ezekiel is a prophet of God, right? But inherit means, let me, let me clarify this one. Go on, go on. Inherit means because we have flesh, flesh is weak to resist the sin. Yeah. It doesn't mean that Adam did wrong and inherit for us. But the weakness of the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. When I see women pass through here, I can't resist because of yeah. the, my flesh. Even okay. I don't want to see her, the flesh he is insisted with to see and I see them. Mm. Okay, so this is Ezekiel chapter 18. It says, He will not die for his father's sin. He will surely live. But his father will die for his own sin. Because he practiced extortion, robbed his brother and did what was wrong among his people. Yet you ask, why does the son not share the guilt of his father? Look at this. Right? Since the son has done what is just and right and has been careful to keep all my decrees, he will surely live. The one who sins is the one who will die. See, this is where all the Christians, they stop that. They stop verse 20. But they don't give you the, the context afterwards, right? The, the one who sins is the one who will die. The child, I want you to listen to this. The child.